today. Two more bodies, unfortunately, dead. My daughter is still dead. The Lagos State Governor should help me. I was here. Yes. I just saw the first building coming down. Da, da, da. What's up guys, how are you doing today? It's Taya I know here again and today I just want to talk a little bit about buildings collapsing in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm currently in Ghana now and on my way to the airport I was able to see this building that collapsed. It was a 21-story building. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over the news. As somebody who talks about real estate in Nigeria, I felt I needed to share my thoughts on this and talk about some of the reasons why I feel this is happening and some of the methods that can be taken to stop this or to reduce this. Just to preface this, I don't know so much about structural engineering, so the engineers here can shed more light on this in the comment section. Why do buildings collapse? One of the major ones is overloading. If you're building a foundation of a five-story building, there has to be a specific set of composition of materials that will fit to hold that five-story building up. If you start off with a foundation of a five-story building and you build something that is like eight-story building on top, that's going to come crashing down. It's a no-brainer. And from what I heard about the building that collapsed, it was meant to be a 15-story building. And then the developer eventually, with some mago mago, as they say in Nigeria, he made it become a 21-story building, which to me does not make any sense. Why would a building that was meant to be 15 stories eventually be 21 stories? Second one is poor materials. When it comes to concrete reinforced structures, there are two major things that are used to build it. Concrete, obviously, and the second one is reinforcement, the iron bars that are inside. If one of these things are not good, let's say the concrete is not mixed well, or the iron bars, if it's not strong enough, or if it has started rusting and it starts to expand and cracks start happening, then those cracks can lead to a general weakness of the whole structure. And one of the things that can cause the low quality of materials is the developer's grid or the builder's grid to cut cost. Another reason why I'm making this video is because I have a personal story. My first apartment was at Yaba in Lagos and it was basically like the hood. This place had 15 tiny apartments in just one section of the building. For a lot of people out there who are always searching for houses, I'm sure you guys will find it relatable. When you're looking for houses in Lagos, it's <laughs> it's a whole thing on its own. It's a problem. You see high-priced houses that look like crap, especially on the islands. And even if you have enough money to even pay for a high-priced house, at the end of the day, many of these houses, by the time you start living in them, you have to fix so many things. I moved into a new house eventually in Lekki and just before even moving in, I had to fix so many things in the house. The pipes were bad, the AC duct was leaking inside the wall. So many problems. The plumbing was also very crappy and this is not supposed to be. How would you rent a house, a new house and you start facing all these problems? This is not to remove the fact that obviously if you invest in real estate in Lagos or in Nigeria, you're definitely going to make your money back. But there are other ways to do this. We can make your money back and still create something for people that they would enjoy, that they would like. Your house is where you stay most of the time. So your house should be somewhere where you're looking forward to going to. Not somewhere that is just like a box in one place and there's no breeze, there's no air. <laughs> If you look at the prices of properties, even in the US, and you compare it with prices of properties in Lagos, you begin to wonder that what is happening? What's the value proposition in regards to the property? Why is this property this price? What makes the property a certain price? Why would I buy a $2 million property in Nigeria? And there's no space. Why? What gives properties price usually most times is, you know, location. Is it close to something that would enhance your life? Let's say maybe it's close to a park, it's close to the beach, it's close to maybe hospitals. There has to be something maybe it's in, on the hills or it's in the woods in a very reserved area. There has to be something that makes a property have value. You enter some houses and it's just blue lights everywhere. And I'm like, okay, is this what is making this property this cost? This is something I've always wanted to make a video about for a very long time. In regards to the building that collapsed. First of all, I heard it was shut down twice and then somebody somewhere, they say power from above, got them to open up the building back. A building that was shut down twice. How was the developer able to, you know, get access to opening the building back and continue building? Sad to say that a lot of people have died in this. A lot of families, a lot of people are mourning. May they are so rest in peace, but 
things like this can be avoided. I don't know why in Nigeria we kind of wait till problems happen before we start talking about it or before we start solving it. The reason I'm making this video is to call out developers. If you're building a building, you need to make sure that you're using the right materials. You're building a building that you yourself would want to live in. Not just build a building just because, yeah, obviously you want to make your money back, but greed now enters it and then you want to over make your money. You want to 10x your money just from one property. I understand business. I'm an entrepreneur too. The developer who built that building now, first of all, so many people are dead from your creation. Sadly, the developer also died inside this building too. Next up is the other two structures that are still standing. I don't think anybody wants to rent them. You've already killed the trust. It's just like there are three airplanes from the same company. One crashed. Are you going to enter the two? Are you going to enter the remaining two to fly somewhere? These are the problems. These are the things we need to discuss. These are the things we need to talk about. There's a really big problem with Nigeria's real estate, Lagos real estate especially. And this problem needs to be solved. Usually, I don't even like bringing in the government, but the government is always to blame in some form or the other. How were they able to get approval for this building to be built? Who are the people that are meant to monitor these buildings to make sure that they are being built to standard? Nigeria is sort of going the same way as India. India has been having a lot of collapsed building. If you Google online and you check building collapse, India is one of the places in the world where they have very crooked building practices. And Nigeria is going that way. These are the problems. Nobody is always held accountable for anything that happens. It just happens and then everybody just goes on and they will forget and then we move on. We always move on. We always move on. Within two, three days, we've moved on from the matter. If you're going into the real estate industry or if you're going into whatever industry, you need to be sure that you are going into it to provide value for people in some form or the other because that's how you build a, a strong brand even this building that collapsed a friend of mine was meant to reach out to me to tour this building to make a video about this building and i'm imagining if i already made a video about this building and then it collapsed and a lot of people have probably invested in the building that would not speak well and this is one of the reasons why i'm also very skeptical about touring a lot of properties in nigeria i built my channel majorly from real estate videos by making real estate videos and showing people where to invest in Nigeria but I also need to talk about the problems and these are some of the issues if you're a developer out there and you're trying to you know build something for the real estate industry try to build something that would leave a legacy something that you can live in I know land is expensive yeah we always say the reason cost of buildings are going up is because land is expensive but even if land is expensive that land can still be utilized in the way I see them the way they build houses in South Africa you can build a unit make sure it's very strong and then build upwards we are human beings we want space we want air, we want breeze, we want to live, we want to live like human beings. We don't want to spend too much money and then live like you are living in a box or like you're not even enjoying what you box. This was just one of those videos where I just wanted to just sit down and you know share my thoughts, not scripted. It pains me when I see many of these properties and I see how they are being built. The reality was more shocking when I drove past this building like three days ago and I was just looking at it because I saw that building when it was being built and now it's just rubble and a lot of people are trapped. Over 30 something people are killed already. RIP to the people who have lost their lives. It's a very sad thing. A lot of people need to look into their practices. So yeah guys, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.